welcome back to NHS Hack Day in Cardiff. Sunday morning still, we're getting closer to the presentations. I am just sitting here with Mark Frayne, who's one of my colleagues from NHS Wales Informatics Service. Hello. Uh, Mark also gave us some money through HL7 UK, which we used to get some AV equipment, so you're hearing us because of <laughs> we're very, very Very grateful. pleased to be um, associated with the hack days, yes. Yeah. yeah. So you had not been to this hack day before? No. No? It's been an experience. It's been... <laughs> What, what has the experience been like? Oh, yeah, we should say, what do you do? So you're uh, my, my day job is um, I work with, with Anne-Marie yeah. uh, for the NHS Wells Informatics Service. I'm a technical architect uh, into operability, yeah. uh, uh, HL7 standards, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, and yeah. All, all useful standards. Um, yeah. But it's, it's been very useful to come together and meet sort of uh, people from the NHS, people not yeah. from the NHS. Yeah. Um, patients, yep. uh, clinicians, techies, uh, and it's been really interesting to bounce ideas around, yep. um, get cracking on you know code and stuff mm -hmm. without the usual constraints mm -hmm. of uh, you know that you normally have to mm -hmm. you know like security and, mm -hmm. and you know patient safety and th mm -hmm. those 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 important concerns, but but. Uh, yeah, you can just get cracking and, and, just and, and just rapidly experiment with ideas. And so just sort of see yeah, how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you've got a pretty, you're working on a diabetes project. Yes, working. Uh, it's been really interesting, actually. Um, so, so, so Matthew are, are, um, pitched um, about um, his daughter has, has type one diabetes mm -hmm. and how um, him and and his community mm -hmm. have have hacked the not not changed, mm -hmm. but for recording the the data that comes from the mm -hmm. the insulin pumps and the the, the, the blood glucose mm -hmm. monitors, um, how that's now stored in in the cloud. Mm -hmm. Uh, and is accessible. Um, so the community has done a great deal already in accessing that information and creating smartphone uh, yeah. application mm -hmm. and, and, and an app on a Pebble watch actually mm -hmm. that, that monitors um, glucose levels mm -hmm. and you know those things that need to be monitored. So the, and then your your work this weekend was to try and take that to another. Yes. Yeah, so, so the idea was, um, could we, so we, so we can access that information on, on an individual mm -hmm. patient basis. Um, Matt's pitch was about. Uh, being able to um, manage that information from a cohort of patients. Mm -hmm. one, of, one of the frustrations Matt's, Matt's known is, you know, as, as, as a patient or parent of a, mm -hmm. of a child with, you know, young child with, with, mm -hmm. with diabetes type one is when you get to the surgery and, and you know, the, the, they can say, well, okay, that you're, you're doing well, let's see you in, 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 in another three months. Mm -hmm. Um, you, know, you have that appointment three months where everything's going beautifully mm -hmm. well. And a week after the appointment, something goes wrong. Something again. goes wrong. So. Um, we were looking at the way of, of being able to um, analyze the data and look at you know monitor certain mm -hmm. parameters which may be different for mm -hmm. for different. different patients and and so it'd be possible for um, you know a clinician managing a, 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 a cohort of patients mm -hmm. to say ah oh, this this patient here looks like something's going on let's mm -hmm. get in touch let's mm -hmm. let's let's bring the patient in, in in a much more sort of timely and efficient way for so was there any kind of application of like fire standards or anything to this or was it not at that kind of level um not really I mean, it's it's interesting that to see how fire could help mm -hmm. with the standard because we had to you know with the with the with the interface you know, we can go to the cloud mm -hmm. and, and and fire fire an api gets get the, 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 the data mm -hmm. around, uh, we're particularly focusing on um, blood glucose. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, the, the community have already you know, developed that, but it's a, um, you know, get the information, but, but not by any standard mm -hmm. message. So it did take a while mm -hmm. to understand the message, work out how we're going to, to call them, you know, what the data is. Mm -hmm. And we had to have some notes around, well, um, that's the US value, so we've got to divide by 18.1, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. this is the unit of measurement. Yeah. So, so what FIRE can do uh, for that, and what, what I've, my part of the, mm -hmm. the, the panel was, was implementing a fire, um, mm -hmm. a, you know, a, a, mm -hmm. a more standards based API mm -hmm. such that we can get those uh, bits of data as fire observation mm -hmm. resources so mm -hmm. that we know, um, you know we've got a nice SNOMED code mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, associated with each observation to say it's a, it's a blood glucose uh, value. Mm -hmm. um, we can state um, the value, mm -hmm. um, the units of measurement, mm -hmm. uh, the upper range, the lower range, mm -hmm. the, the patient who it's. Um, uh, who, it, who, it, who it relates to, the mm -hmm. method of mm -hmm. thing. is it a, a, a you know, fingerprint yeah, or so a, a... that's all in your model. And that's all in the model. So, that's brilliant. So, so it's just really, I think, adding the quality of the data. So what we've been able to show as well is some of the, um, the smart on fire mm -hmm. um, widgets that you mm -hmm. can make so that there's nothing we saw specifically for diabetes, mm -hmm. but it's 
it makes it more likely that as the community wants to go and uh, engage with, mm -hmm. with others, um, they've got a common standard interface to, 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 to allow people to engage yeah, with. So that's it's fantastic. Yeah. So what, what do you think, just um, thinking about us back in our workplace, what can we kind of learn from this sort of like approach to ways of going and doing things? Um, I just have fire. Um, it's the future. Um, <laughs> it's, some describe it as, as um, sort of the internet for health. Yeah. It makes it much uh, easier for us to, to have a common language mm -hmm. to describe complex medical mm -hmm. uh, concepts. Um, so we're looking already at um, you know, storing um, patients' allergies mm -hmm. using the um, allergy intolerance resource. Mm -hmm. um, so we, you know, it's our first implementation. Mm -hmm. we look, we're looking as well to, to mm -hmm. I think in South Wales alone, there are three applications I know of that record height and weight for the patient in order mm -hmm. to create a growth chart. Mm -hmm. um, if we can create a common Firebase repository to, to capture that information, then uh, that information can be shared you know, um, between all applications. And, between, and the way of working in a kind of group with like all the different kind of disciplines over time, um, do you think that that's something that we could be doing more or less? Or in terms of, I think yes, it's been very valuable to, as I said at the beginning, to to, to, to get going on ideas yes. without, without constrained by the yeah. you know the the important and necessary yes. formal processes that we have to, yeah. have, to have in work yeah. uh, in in the day. But, it's, but to to be able to do uh, to think a little more easily yeah. um, without some of those constraints is, is helpful. I think yeah. it, it sparks ideas. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for giving up your weekend to come here and join us. <laughs> My it's pleasure. Brilliant, brilliant. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the presentation later on. Thank you very much. Thanks, Emery. Cheers. Thanks.